Hello plumps, it's Jess. Today's video is going to be a little different than what I usually do. I'm going to be doing an art challenge. I'm going to attempt to paint with Play-Doh. I got inspired to try this challenge out after I watched Bailey J do it on her channel and she did such a good job. I just really wanted to try it out for myself. I'm gonna get straight to the point because I know exactly what I'm going to draw. I'm going to attempt to make my own version of Bold and Brash from Spongebob. More like belongs in the trash! <laughs> I feel like everybody should have at least one Squidward painting in their lives, and what better one to make than the most beautiful one of them all? So inspirational. Before I actually make the painting dough, I do need to go out and get the materials for it. I figured I might as well make some sort of vlog while I'm at it. Honestly, I'm really scared. I've never done anything like this in public and I don't know, I feel like they're gonna kick me out of the store or something. I don't know. Wish me luck. These are so cute. Purple. Ooh. I like these. Ooh. So I could get this one or I could get the individual colors. How much is this one? I mean, this one pretty much has <clears throat> all of the colors that I would need, so I think I think I'm gonna go with this one. I guess I could bring a white too, just in case I need like a different color that's not in here. I could like mix it. Maybe I could add some paint to it. Yeah, that should work. This is basically what I came for, but since I'm here, I might as well check out what else they have. Ooh. Pretty. I've always wanted one of these. Oh, I love it. I love it so much. Why is everything so cute in here? I've always wanted some of these. So like if you make handmade things, you can like put this on the container and it just makes it look like a little more professional. I make things and sell them, so I feel like this would be pretty good, but I mean, I mean, that's a decent price. Oh, it's double-sided. Hmm. Why are there Christmas decorations in September? Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> okay, so I'm hiding in the Tupperware, Tupperware aisle because it appears to be the only aisle where there's no one in here. Um, I mean, they're cute, but... It's not really relevant to what I'm here for, so... <gasps> Ooh! No. 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 It's not what you're here for. So I just crashed into someone and... <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> That's enough. Let's just pay for this. So I got the Play-Doh that we're gonna need to make Squidward. We have this set right here that pretty much comes with everything I'll need. We have the bluish greenish for Squidward and we have the orange shades for the background. I did also bring myself a white one just in case that I need a color that I can't mix myself. I figured I could just add like a little bit of paint to this and use that. It's probably cheating. And then of course we have our canvas. I didn't need to buy this because I already had a couple of these lying around. So I took a closer look at Bailey's video to see kind of like how she she prepared the play-doh for painting. She basically just filled some of these with water and left them overnight to kind of like soak up the color I guess. Although I guess if I have to leave these overnight that means I can't really film right now. I'm not good at planning am I? Okay so I guess I'll see you tomorrow then.
Now what? Oh my gosh, it has been so long since I have used Play-Doh, like actual years. The first thing that I knew that I wanted to do in this project is to smell the clay. I know that sounds kind of weird, but I feel like Play-Doh has one of those like iconic childhood smells and I just really want to take a trip down memory lane. Anyways, the first thing that I needed to do is to prepare a Squidward color. Mixing the color was a lot easier than I thought. I just combined the green with a little bit of blue and it pretty much made a pretty accurate Squidward color. Come to think of it, I don't think I ever considered mixing new colors with the Play-Doh when I was little. I feel like when I was little the whole thing was that I wanted to keep the colors clean so that I could always use it again for other projects, but I feel like if I had known basic color theory back then I could have made some really cool things. Once I had the colors pre-mixed, I was time to combine the clay with water to make the paint. I find that it's easier to rip up the clay into little pieces before adding the water, it just makes the mixing process a lot easier. I think the hardest thing for me was trying to guess how much of each color I was going to use. I didn't want to make so much because that would be wasteful, but I also didn't want to make so little that I couldn't be able to finish the painting. I think when it comes to art, it's better to make a little more than you'll need, and if you have a lot left over, you can always save it in a container and make a, an entirely different project out of it. Next up, I had to draw the Squidward shape. After drawing up the Squidward shape, I then cut it out and used a dark blue pencil to trace the shape onto the canvas. If I wanted to, I could have just skipped like the cutting and tracing steps and just draw the Squidward directly on the canvas. The reason why I didn't do that is because I do a lot of erasing when I draw, and it's not actually good for the canvas to use an eraser on it because you could ruin the canvas if you rub too hard. Obviously, there's nothing wrong with drawing directly on the canvas if that works for you, I just personally find that I'm not coordinated enough to draw it well the first time around, so you can always just transfer it later. After letting the clay soak in the water overnight, wow, that is some squishy clay. Honestly, I really love the texture of this stuff. It's so smooth and so squishy. It's really messy to work with, but at the same time, it's so easy to scrape around and smooth it, so even if you make mistakes, it's really forgiving and you can just redo it as many times as you need. So, a little story about that tool that I'm using. The morning that I was planning to film this video, we were cleaning out our Halloween supplies, and my dad found a set of pumpkin carving supplies that I guess we never bothered to open. So my dad asked if anybody wanted them, and I saw that the set came with this little shovel thing, and I was like, <gasps> I can use that to make Squidward. So that same day, I got to use that pumpkin set for this painting. I think this is supposed to be some sort of little shovel to scrape the seeds out of the pumpkin or something. Well, whatever it is, it's perfect for painting with Play-Doh, so life hack. If you don't have this tool though, you could honestly just use a spoon and you'll probably get the same results. You really just need something flat that you could like scrape around and blend with. So at this point, I'm just working on the background. I mix different shades of yellow and orange to give the background some more depth and just use the shovel to blend them around a bit. When it came to painting the Squidward, it was a little bit harder because I couldn't really use the shovel in there, the, the lines were too small, so I had to switch over to my ball tools to fill in Squidward. For the love of plums, please do not use actual paintbrushes for this project. The Play-Doh will clog up your brushes and ruin the plum out of them. Anyways, at this point I'm adding a darker shade of the Squidward color and just splotching it around. The Squidward color was harder to work with than the background because it was a lot thicker. I guess I should have added some more water. It kind of felt like painting with frosting, which is harder than it sounds. But just like the background, after some work, I felt like I was able to get a pretty accurate Squidward shape. So this is how the finished Squidward turned out. I'm actually really happy with the results. I think the background especially turned out pretty spot on to the original. I did end up having a little bit of cracking in the eye area and that's because I added way too thick of a layer. So if you want to try this out yourself, be sure to use as thin of a layer of the Play-Doh as possible. If there's any other sort of weird things you want me to try painting with or some sort of art challenge that you want me to try, be sure to let me know and I'd love to try it out. That's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye!